The Soweto Open continues in South Africa this week with the women taking center stage following the men's tournament last week. Organizers hope the event will help the sport grow in previously disadvantaged areas across South Africa as the country looks to uncover a new tennis star. Dan Williams tells us more. South Africa's largest township, Soweto, is famous for many things. But tennis is perhaps not one that would readily spring to mind. With the South African Open currently on hold, the Soweto Open is now the country's top tennis event. First run in 2009, the tournament is held at the Arthur Ashe Tennis Centre, built with funds donated by Ashe in the 1970s. Although the centre fell into ruin, it was revamped and then reopened in 2007. That's why we brought this Soweto Open here, yeah, because this is another way of making sure that kids become interested. They must see their role models, uh, they must see how tennis is played. So we're bringing interest uh, and we hope bringing uh, tournaments like this, they will help us to get more kids to play tennis. Although tennis is still seen as a white privileged sport, there are some who are challenging that perception in South Africa. Lynn Kiro is one of them. Still just 17, she's about to move to America to continue her tennis dream. In August, I'm going to go to Texas Tech University, hopefully try and be there for two years, use the training environment well, the coaches, the girls on the team. I hope to become professional one day. I want to be top five in the world. Although the world's top stars are absent, the Soweto Open does attract players from around the world, given it is on the ATP Challenger Tour. Chanel Simmons is South Africa's number two women's player. She's just delighted to be playing on home soil. I mean, you definitely need more tournaments, you know, to give the girls more opportunity to play and get their ranking up and then hopefully um, be inspired to be a professional tennis player. You know, if there's no tournaments in South Africa, it's a lot of money to travel and play tournaments. So definitely the, the more tournaments, the better. Organisers are still keen to get a top ranking tennis event in the country. And there are hopes that this type of tennis centre can be rolled out across the townships of South Africa. But in order to do that, the sport needs a serious injection of funds. And there's a belief that with more money, significant success is possible. There is nothing impossible in this world. Uh, Nadal, Federer, uh, what they are doing is not like a magic. They started somewhere, of course. We must go and identify talent because talent is there. So we must go out and tap that talent in those areas. For instance, if we have about 1,000 or 2,000 kids, surely one or two of those kids uh, they'll be, they can play at the highest level. The Soweto Open, as well as this facility, could only help South Africa's efforts to uncover a future tennis star. But in reality, the country's spend on the sport is much less than many international rivals. And until that changes, their struggle to compete against the top tennis nations. Dan Williams, CCTV News, in Soweto, South Africa.